name Mary Shima Rudberg, and my colleague's name is Kathy Goss out of Nassau. And we're here today to present Kahoot! Technology for Improving Student Motivation. Okay, I'm just going to go over some overview and some objectives of the presentation. So why use Kahoot? Um, why use this innovative learning gaming system? Well, you can use it through pre-test and post-test uh, to motivate learning by testing students' knowledge. It could also help with reiterating important concepts. It can help retain information. And I was thinking, especially when students have to learn a lot of terminology and vocabulary words, it's good for retention that way. Also, Kahoot is free, and who doesn't like free? It's a free game-based student uh, response tool for educators. However, there is a fee if you want to use the update images uh, in Kahoot, and I believe it's $15 a month, and that's indicated by a little maple leaf, and I'll show you that later in the presentation as well. The media is to access Kahoot. Well, we have several at Walden University. We can use the announcement section. We could use the email system, which I use for a Kahoot that uh, my students uh, played. We can also use the discussion board. And in real time, we can use Zoom or Skype to be able to have one centralized screen to be able to share so all students can share at the same time and play the game. Uh, ways to use Kahoot with our students. We can definitely administer quizzes and jumbles. We can poll the classroom. We can say, hey, how many of you play Kahoot? Uh, you know, poll the classroom with a, a question. Uh, instructors can use Kahoot to facilitate discussion. So if we have a challenging topic coming up uh, to get students more motivated and interested in the topic, we could possibly introduce a Kahoot that way. Uh, to uh, facilitate that discussion. We can create student-to-student -student interaction, which is very important to create a sense of online community as well. We can collect survey information, definitely. And I was thinking also uh, for the evaluations, the end of semester evaluations, that might be another way that we can get information and more students to participate. Mm -hmm. And Mary, I'll add that I've uh, used survey software in the middle of my classrooms to do a midterm evaluation just to see what the students have to say about my teaching style and to see if they have any needs that I'm not meeting so far. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's another way you can definitely use it for that. Also for assessing learning, uh, which Kathy's going to talk about a little bit later in this presentation on the report section. So all a student needs to play Kahoot is a computer, which they all have, because it's an online uh, classroom, and a smartphone, which most of our students have, or they can use a tablet. And I just want to emphasize, I, I, I was interested in this presentation because it's fun. Uh, and it's definitely fun to play, as you will see through some of the comments that I would like to share with you when my students play Kahoot. So oh, I'm not going to read every one of these uh, to you. However, you can see that the students' feedback after playing a uh, this counseling theories was the Kahoot that they played. Uh, they really enjoyed it. And I really like the second one, racing against the time to answer a series of questions. So it's competitive. They get instant gratification. And it's fun. So they can see, you know, who's in first place, who's in second, and how competitive they can be. So that, that really, um, uh, the students really like that point. And the next slide also has information on more comments from the students. And the one I really like here, too, is it's a great study tool. You know, who could be used for a great study tool? So without further ado, I would like to go to Kahoot.com and demonstrate how you can create a Kahoot of your own and how you can play it with my colleagues. Here we are at Kahoot.com. This is what your screen will look like when you enter Kahoot.com and you'll see login and sign up. So if you do not have an account, go to sign up, put your name and you can put your email address here as well. Uh, students could go in and enter their game pin here if they don't have an account and they just want to play a game. 
However, I'm going to go ahead to sign up, but it'll come right to my account since I already have a Kahoot account set up. And this is what my screen looks like. And you can go to my interest, you can uh, pick interests that you like, and you can create different Kahoots from there. However, for today's demonstration, we're going to go to Create New. So this is what the screen will look like. And as you can see, the crown or the maple leaf, as I said earlier, this is going to cost extra for um, more intricate uh, uh, slides and polls as well as images. So we can either do a jumble, which is putting things in correct order, or a quiz. We will go ahead and click Create New for Quiz. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top of your screen and you're going to click on Enter Kahoot Title. So the title that I'm going to use today is going to be Medical Marijuana, which is a big topic in the substance abuse counseling field right now. And we're going to put Test Quiz and the description. And it's going to be saved to my Kahoot since I'm the one creating it. You could also put a YouTube link right here as well. And this cover image I would like to change. So I'm going to click Change and I'm going to go to the Image Library for Kahoot. And these are the free images that they provide that you can use at no cost. And let's go ahead and pick this one. There, that looks pretty good. And you can change your language if you need to, or you can go to visibly to you or everyone. And since I'm going to ask my colleagues to play later, I am going to click everyone. And there, there it says medical marijuana. So that is the name of the, the quiz that I'm creating today. So I'm going to simply start to type a question. Let's see, where does so I'm going to come over here to uh, how long do I think I'm going to give my students to to answer this question. So it gives you from 5 to 240 seconds, which 240 is actually a new time. It used to go to 120, so they added some time to the seconds. And I think 20 seconds is adequate enough to answer this question. So you can put a YouTube link here, an uploaded image, or an image from the library. So I'm going to go ahead and put an image from the library. Those avocados look very delicious. Okay, so let me go ahead and put some answers so that my students can choose what answers that they can uh, select from. And the instructor will then come down here, and there's a little check mark next to all the, all the selections. However, the correct selection is bloodstream. And as you see, the arrow, the circle lights up in green. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say, okay, let's add another question. Of course, these are going to cost the fee when you upgrade for the poll or the slide. You can actually put a true or false, but we're going to go with another quiz question. And I'm going to leave that at 20 seconds. And let's see, I'm going to upload an image from my library of my little, little doggy, Cortez. Because he's such a good boy. Wonderful okay. picture. Easter. <laughs> That's his Easter, and his Christmas one is there somewhere. However, let's see, how many states have legalized marijuana? Uh, Let's just put some selections down here. Um, so the correct answer to date as of August 2019 is 33 states in the union have legalized medical marijuana. 
11 actually have legalized recreational marijuana. So then we're going to add, I went and put that so it lit up, so that's the correct answer. And we're going to add one more quiz question, and then I'm going to ask my colleagues if they would like to play a game of Kahoot. Okay. Is So is it possible to fatally overdose on cannabis? Uh, and we'll go ahead and put yes or no. And no, it is not. You cannot fatally overdose on cannabis. However, there is one case in Colorado where a, a toddler ate some marijuana and fatally overdosed. However, there are, were other drugs that were involved as well. So right now, this is, this is good for a demonstration, three questions. You can preview it and say, okay, well, there it is. Let's see, this is what it's gonna look like to my students when they play. Uh, yep, that looks good, looks good. So I'm gonna go, okay, exit preview, and I am going to say done. Now, it'll come up with this screen. Yeah, the Kahoot is ready to be played. So what we're gonna do, we're going to test this Kahoot. We could share it, but for today, we're going to test it. And you're gonna come up with this screen. And there's the Kahoot that I just created. And the students will see on their screen, this is what they'll see, whether they're using their phone, their computer, or their tablet, this screen will come up once they go to Kahoot.it to put their game pin in. So we can come over here for the instructor and say player versus player or team versus team. So we're gonna do classic view, which is player versus player. You could use team versus team. If you have a team say in Columbia and a team in California and you can press team mode and you can have classroom against classroom. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use classic and you're gonna hear this beautiful music that was absolutely created just for Kahoot just as Jeopardy's tune was created for Jeopardy. And I'm gonna ask my two colleagues that are on this call if they will go ahead and put their pin in and go to Kahoot.it and put the pin in 758503 to join. And click enter. And then I will put my nickname in there which is my regular name anyway, so, and I will say, okay, I'm in. So we have three people playing today. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead as the instructor, I am going to click start. And there it is, medical marijuana, that is my front page, correct? As we saw the demonstration earlier. And here's the first question, and here's what it will look like on the right to the students. They'll read the question, I'll come over here and say, oh, which one do I want to pick? Bloodstream. So the faster you answer and the correct answer, the more points that you're going to generate. And so we have three people played and looks like I got a correct answer there. Kathy did, oh, Matt, uh-oh. <laughs> so the next question is going to be, how many states have legalized medical marijuana? And there's a picture of my little puppy dog, and we remember it was 33. Awesome. So the student will get instant gratification, whether they got the answer correct or incorrect, and how fast they did it. And then it shows up on the screen here on how fast they did. And there's the running total. So the next question. Yes? No? No. There we go. So there. That, they'll get the instance gratification whether they got the question correct. And then we go to next. And look, Kathy, she is the star. Woohoo! 3,220 points. She got all three out of three. And uh, Matt also got two out of three. And how fast he did it and how many points. 
And then to get the results, you can, the instructor clicks here, and then the student has a chance to evaluate correctly right here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, uh, did I learn anything? Sure. Did you recommend it to others? Sure. And I had a good time with it. So there it is. It shows awesome on the screen. I came in second place, and I want to see my feedback, so I'm going to click right there. So all three responses, everybody rated it. The rating was at 4.7, showed what, how many learned, what the feelings were about it, and would you recommend it? So there you go. So that is how you create a Kahoot and play Kahoot. One of the best things about Kahoot are the millions and millions of Kahoots that are already created. So no point of reinventing the wheel. Uh, it, most likely there's already lots of Kahoots on almost any topic you can think of. Now as a counselor educator, um, I'm interested in counseling, of course, so I'm going to show you how to go in, look at the many different Kahoots. You can duplicate them and customize them for your own purposes. So that all starts here. I've already logged in. So I'm going to go to Discover. And as a counselor educator, I'm interested in PTSD. And I've already created this one. Actually, um, I want, well, let me go back and show you that there's so many options. If, uh, if just for, for Look at that, over 25,000 different options here alone. So um, now, because I don't know that all of these pictures are copyrighted or free, I'm going to look up the one I created that I know for a fact <laughs> all the pictures are uh, definitely part of the Kahoot free copy images. So um, here's the one I created called PTSD Walden Demo. And let's say you go in, you, are, you found this demonstration, this Kahoot yourself, and so you want to go in and duplicate and customize it. So these three dots here are what you want to look for. Um, I've opened someone else's Kahoot, for instance, and then I go to these three dots and I simply go to duplicate. And now this is saved into my Kahoots, and I, you see I have a duplicate of PTSD Walden demo. So again, look at these three dots here and you can go in. Now that I have saved to my account, I can go in and edit it or rename it. You can see the different options here. I'm gonna go in and edit this one because maybe it's not exactly how I want it for my students or for my presentation purposes. So here we go. This one currently has six slides. And the first thing I'm gonna click on is settings because maybe I want to change this to PTSD test and hashtag PTSD. If I want to change this front image, I can. Um, not only could I add an image, or here's the free image library that again, I chose the cat, but maybe I want to choose that. But Mary showed you how to uh, do that. Uh, and also, if I wanted to add a YouTube video, I find this a little bit annoying. So I'm actually going to delete to have a video that's when you first open Kahoot it will play a, a video of uh, whatever I'm not sure about that video since I had originally copied this Kahoot from someone else I don't know uh, what the permissions were for that so I'm removing that and I'm going to open it up to everyone and then I'm going to say done for this part and what I don't like about this first slide here is that it says 10 seconds 10 seconds I have found through testing is just too short of a time to answer. I think 20 seconds is very reasonable. Uh, and But let's say if I didn't like this first picture here, and maybe I wanted a YouTube video, and I know that permissions are allowed for that YouTube video, I can go in, search YouTube, because maybe I have a video on PTSD that I want the students to watch before they can answer the question correctly. But. For our intents and purposes, I'm just going to go back, pick the free image of the cat right there that I feel is a little stressed and represents PTSD. And uh, now, and I can't, one thing to consider when you are going in and duplicating someone else's cahoots, you don't know that the answers are perfectly correct. Now, I am just going on the basis that whoever created this original PTSD cahoot 
these answers were were correct. Um, but definitely go in, check the answers, make sure they're exactly what you would want. So again, here's the second slide. And I'm going to change that to 20 seconds. Uh, how many military veterans commit suicide? It says 22 here. And then um, who is affected uh, by PTSD more, this question? Maybe I want to delete this one, although uh, it's a pretty good question, but let's say I want to just delete it. So again, look for these three dots and go into delete. And so now I've gone down to five questions. Should I want to add a question? Just like Mary showed, you can go in and add a question. But for our intents and purposes, let's say that I've gone through, I've changed everything how I want, uh, down to 20 seconds. I've made sure all the pictures are appropriate. I've added maybe YouTube videos if I want. And let's say this is done. So now, if I want to, I could go test it um, right away, but I'm just gonna say done here because the next thing I wanna show, if you look at, here's my Kahoot. Um, now this one shows up under my Kahoot's on the home screen. You can also hear Kahoot or home will show you. But I wanna show you another feature, reports. So this, if you go in here, it's um, every time someone plays your Kahoot's, you will get uh, different results. Now you'll see that uh, if you go in, if you want to, oh, if you go in, I have several different PTSDs that I've challenged. That means that um, I have said I've gone in and let's just go back to, for instance, uh, this PTSD. I want to set a challenge. So maybe I want my students to have until September, uh, excuse me, August 25th on Sunday till 12 p.m. And I can say create. So maybe I want my students to go in by day seven at Walden and do this Kahoot. And that way you can uh, you then share these links or share this pen with your students and you set up a challenge that way. And the nice thing is the difference is when they see that screen, they get the questions and answers all at the same time versus presentation mode or a classic mode will sh is, is showing on a screen and the students see the three or four or two different answers in their colors, but they don't see the answers there. But when you challenge, they see the answers with the color blocks. So, uh, so that's important uh, distinction between just playing and challenging. But let me go back into reports now, uh, a couple nights ago, I had my children come around um, and we all played one game of Kahoot so I could have some results to show you. Because you'll see that every time someone goes in and plays one of my Kahoots, I get a response of just one. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that's okay, but if you want to see all the results from all your students at once, you might want to <laughs> uh, have them all in here. So that's why I had all my, my two children come in and we had some devices going. And I've already got the results from those five up here. And so here is, I've already downloaded it and opened Excel. And here is the screen. And what I really like about the results that come through Excel is that they're all color coded. So thank you, Kahoot. Uh, here is the uh, uh, PTSD Walden demo that I had originally started with, but later customized. And you'll see that uh, Here's the overall performance, 66.67%, got the answers right, 33 were wrong. Uh, and you'll see that five players participated. Final scores here, here are the five names, Peter Smart Cookie on down, and you can see who came in first place, second place through fifth. Uh, you can see Peter uh, was the winner with six correct answers and zero incorrect, and Sarah was down at the bottom in last place uh, with only one answer correct and five incorrect. But perhaps you wanna see uh, which questions were answered uh, more often correct or which ones were answered incorrect. And so you can evaluate, is that a good question or a bad question? So you can see down here on the tab, we have a question summary and you can scroll through, whoops. And you can see again, this is like question six for instance. Three people answered it correct, two answered it wrong. So maybe you want to evaluate why are they getting it wrong? Is there something that I'm teaching that I need to go back and reteach or reemphasize? 
um, or is just the question bad? So, and then let's go to question one. Uh, and again, what percentage of people in the US uh, have PTSD? And you can get all of this great information here, answer summary, uh, answer details, and see exactly what the five participants, how they answered, what their scores were, and what the data has to show. Um, and uh, you can see red is color coded for no, it was answered incorrect, green is for it was answered correctly. And you can feel free to go through. And then if you want the raw data report, this is great. Um, you know, and as you know, you can take data from Excel and put it right into SPSS if this is data you want to process um, and use in your research. So um, there you go. So that is just a demonstration of what the reports can show for you. Maybe it's for research purposes, maybe it's for personal use or teaching. Uh, but that is all I have to show when it comes to customizing uh, for your own purposes and the reports. That's really good, Kathy. And I like some of those names too, the smart cookie. <laughs> that would be my 10 year old daughter. Yeah. I think it's important to know that whenever the students do put their name in, it has to be something kosher. Um, Kahoot will not permit any uh, curse words or anything like that, or of that nature. That's right. Mary and I had some fun playing around with that by putting in some curse words, and Kahoot automatically uh, changes the name to something appropriate. Absolutely. So I like how uh, the smart cookie was up there, and hi, and hello. Those are cute. Mm hmm I just want to emphasize that as well. A great point. All that we have on Kahoot, uh, it's pretty simplistic once you get into the system and start creating these uh, Kahoots for your classroom. Um, and it's really a, a, an easy system to use. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank everyone for listening to our presentation. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Kathy.